fast response cutters, 154 feet, uh, capable of speeds in excess of 28 knots, uh, crew size of about 24, 25. It's got what we call a stern launch boat, which is which is really game changing in terms of our ability. The small boat's a key, a key enabler to, to mission success here. And this is a very capable, what we call an over the horizon boat, can operate quite a distance from the cutter. It's got a sophisticated command and control capabilities. So we're very excited to bring the 28th ship of this class to the waterfront. The crew of the Nathan Bruckenthal is going to be involved in the wide range of Coast Guard missions. They'll do a lot of law enforcement, that's uh, fisheries enforcement, that's um, potentially drug enforcement. Most of that works a little further south, so her principal operating area will be along the Virginia, North Carolina coastline. But a ship of these capabilities, we may deploy it anywhere, so it could be doing drug operations deep in the Caribbean. It'll be doing security, ports and waterways, coastal security missions, and uh, and we'll see. It's, it's capable of covering much of the uh, spectrum of Coast Guard missions. These cutters at 154 feet are 44 feet longer uh, on the water line, so it's a, it's a more sea, more capable sea keeping ship, so we can operate in, uh, in more you know extreme sea ca uh, weather cases. Um, the stern launch boat that I mentioned earlier is just really a lot easier to launch in the water, much safer. You can put the boat in the water in, in much more uh, challenging sea state conditions, so it just gives us the ability to do more things. And then with a bigger crew, the 110-foot island-class patrol boat, which, which served the Coast Guard remarkably well since the mid-80s. There's still a couple of service for great ships. But with 24, 25 crew members on board versus 16, you just got a lot more endurance. Sometimes the limiting factor of a patrol boat's capabilities is the, is the human capital, the endurance. The crews just get physically fatigued. You're standing watches all the time, whether you're in the engine room, whether you're on the bridge doing the command and control, whether you're going over the side in the small boat doing boarding. So the additional sailors, additional Coast Guardsmen really are a big part of that additional capability as well.